let us now take a closer look at treatments to control decay. Preschem provides two treatment products. Both are in a solid form and have a chalk-like appearance. Many alternative products are either simply barrier protection or liquids or pastes. The most cost-effective time to apply any of these treatments is when the pole or structure is being inspected. That way, much of the work is already done with the inspection. For example, much of the digging may have already been completed. The inspector probably has a drill and suitable order available for any internal treatment. Travel to the site, site cleanup, and many other functions are common to both processes. What are the two Preschem products? Preschem pole saver rods are designed for internal treatment of centre or heart rot. Preschem pole saver bandage is designed for external treatment of soft rot or external decay in the heartwood. The application of both pole saver products is made simple because they are both in a solid form. Unlike pastes or liquids, there is no special requirement for either installation or handling other than good quality dry gloves. It is, however, essential to always wash hands thoroughly before eating. Storage is in boxes or cartons, and these can easily be accommodated in both storage warehouses and field vehicles. Storage just has to be dry and well ventilated. Provided storage is satisfactory, then shelf life can be considered indefinite. Another benefit of the pole saver products is in the area of dosage rates. There is no need to measure or calculate quantities. Dosages are fixed and will only vary if procedures are adjusted, such as changing the number of rods per hole or the number of treatment holes used. So, how do they work? Wooden poles and structures are normally buried up to two metres deep with rainfall, moisture can find its way longitudinally and radially into the wood grain like this. And with the moisture now contained in the wood and exposure to oxygen in the soil or surrounding air, fungi can form and the decay process begins. Replacement of the wooden pole or structure is now inevitable. This is what occurs if Preschem diffusible treatments are applied. In this case, pole saver rods are being introduced into the base of this pole so that the treatment containing the fungicide reached well below the soil surface. The pole saver rods are being inserted into a series of holes bored from just above the ground line and angled at approximately 20 degrees. If the moisture level within the wood rises above 20%, pole saver rods start to dissolve. The active ingredients in pole saver rods are then released. The boron and fluoride move through the timber using a process of diffusion and produce high concentrations of fungicide that will prevent fungi growth for the next five to ten years. Even if moisture levels are below 20 percent, then installation of pole saver rods can be a very good insurance for the future if conditions alter. This process will also sterilise wood that already has established decay. Let us take a closer look at pole saver rods. Your technical people in conjunction with Preschem will have decided on the number of pole saver rods to apply to each pole. Each pole saver rod is 100 millimetres long and 10 millimetres in diameter. They are packed in a box containing 200 rods, so a box this size will hold enough rods to treat around 30 to 35 poles. In this case, three treatment holes will be drilled commencing approximately 100 millimetres above the ground line. As these will be 120 degrees apart, 
it will not matter at what location around the pole circumference the first hole is drilled. This is usually selected to best suit the convenience of the operator. This diagram shows the drilling pattern to be used in this case. It is important that the holes are drilled away from the centre or in an abaxial manner. This is to ensure that the best spread of fungicide is achieved, particularly in the critical zone just below the ground line. There is some practice needed to develop the necessary skill to consistently angle these holes in the same direction. A short pilot hole can be used to help start the auger, or in this case, the experienced operator simply angles the turning auger upward just after starting. If this method is used, care needs to be taken not to place too much pressure on the delicate worm section at the tip of the auger as it can break off, which will destroy the auger. Augers must remain sharp and, as you can see, there is little effort required other than maintaining the correct angle and occasional withdrawing of the auger to clear the wood shavings. The other holes are drilled in exactly the same manner. This process should only take two to three minutes to complete and once done, these holes can be reused every time a retreatment is applied. Treatment is applied by inserting the desired number of pole saver rods into these holes, in this case, two rods per hole. Notice how the 12 mm hole allows the rods to slide easily into the treatment holes. The process is completed by screwing a tapered plastic plug into each treatment hole. These should be firm and provide a good water seal for the top of each hole. Screwing and hammering them into position should allow for easy removal in the future. For any future recharging, the holes may need to be reamed out, but this should only be necessary if the rods do not fit easily. Pole saver bandage works in a similar way. The external treatment will protect the outer critical 50 mm zone of the pole or structure which is where the majority of the strength is obtained. Watch how the bandage works. When installed correctly just below the ground line, a chemical barrier is set up that will be activated by moisture in either the soil or the wood. See how the presence of moisture begins to dissolve the tablets in the bandage, releasing the fungicide to move into the wood grain in that critical 30 to 50 millimeter outer shell. This wood has now been protected against future decay for five to ten years, depending on the surrounding environment. The bandage is manufactured in a roll of 10 metres, sufficient to treat 10 to 12 poles. Two rolls are packaged into a carton like this. The inspection process most likely will have already started or completed several of the steps needed to apply pole saver bandage. Digging around the pole will need to be all the way around the pole base and cleaned out to a depth of 300 millimetres. This is usually best done using a combination of both a pick and a shovel. Surface preparation of the pole is critical. External inspection should have probed the surface. For the bandage application, it must also be cleaned, free of soil and uneven decay. The fungicide will move through any decayed wood still left attached, but contact of the bandage onto the wood surface is important. Measure the pole circumference and add approximately 20 millimetres of overlap. This will be the length to cut the bandage for this pole. The individual rolls are best dispensed from a box like this, where the bandage can feed out ready for cutting. Cut the bandage to length, feed it around the pole and then fix it just below the ground line. 
use a staple or tack to hold the bandage in place. Using the PVC tape supplied, firmly wrap the top of the bandage to form a good seal. Several layers will be required. Another important step in the bandage installation is backfilling. Backfilling must be compacted in layers like this to make sure that the bandage is tightly compressed against the surface of the wood. In areas where livestock exist, additional backfill may need to be used as the soil at the base often becomes trampled and ultimately a depression may occur, which could expose some of the chemical pills. Pole saver bandage application is complete when the backfilling has been done. So, in summary, the two Preschem treatments for controlling decay are... Preschem provides two separate treatments for control of decay in wood. Pole saver rods for internal treatment and pole saver bandage for external treatment. The products are solid and easy to handle and store. Storage must be dry and well ventilated and gloves must be worn during handling. Pole saver rods are packaged in boxes of 200. Pole saver bandage is in a 10 meter roll which is cut to length. There is no need to measure dosage rates. These rates are consistently applied by a fixed amount per meter of bandage or a set number of rods. Pole saver rods are inserted into a series of 12 millimeter holes reaching down below the ground line into the internal section of the wood. Holes are sealed with tapered plugs. Pole saver rods will diffuse internally, providing an even coverage across the pattern of treatment holes. Bandage is wrapped around the wood just below the ground line and works the same way. Compaction of backfill is important to achieve maximum contact with the wood surface. Pole saver bandage diffuses from the outside inward and will penetrate up to 50 millimetres into the wood. Fungicide is released when moisture levels in the wood exceed 20%. If levels are below this, then it can be available in the future if conditions alter. The value and importance of managing poles as part of a network cannot be overstated. The high cost of replacement, failures, outages and safety can be controlled and planned with the implementation of a low-cost inspection and treatment program. Many utilities have already adopted ground line and above ground inspection processes and this in conjunction with the correct decay treatment process can greatly increase the performance and life of all poles in the network. The Preschem pole saver treatments provide easy, safe and clean solutions for application of diffusible fungicide treatments. The diffusible treatments will offer maximum protection to poles as fungicide penetrates right through the wood to active decay fronts. Preschem is available to advise and work with all users of the pole saver products to make sure that the use and application is best suited to the poles in your network.